ततश्चनमें शीर्षण प्राशीन चैतम पूर्व ऋषय प्राश्न ज्येष्ठस्ते प्रजा मरष्यति नमः तम वहम नाच न पराच न प्रत्यंच बृहस्पतीना शीर्षण तेन प्राशिशं तेन मजीगम येशवादन सर्वांग सर्वपरू सर्वतनू सर्वांग सर्वपरू सर्वतनू संभवती येवं वेद नमस्ते टू ऑल दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी ब्यूटिफुल अथर्वेद मंत्र दिस गिव्स अ वेरी ब्यूटिफुल सीक्रेट एंड अ वार्निंग बे ऑल मेटी गॉड नंबर वन एंड ऑल्सो दिस मंत्र गिव्स डीप इन साइड टू दोज पीपल हुर वर्शिपिंग ऑल मेटी गॉड एज पर वेदास वेन मई आचार्य जी वॉज एक्सप्लेनिंग दिस मंत्र सम इयर्स बैक आई थिंक फोर फाइव इयर्स बैक मई आचार्य जी वॉज ही सडनली स्टॉप्ड एंड देन ही सेड दिस वर्ड ही सेड मुझे डर लग रहा है that means i am afraid to teach you this ved mantra or i am afraid to explain you this ved mantra means my acharya said that the condition which is mentioned in this mantra or the result which is mentioned in this mantra should not happen in anybody's life but unfortunately this is what is happening today we are seeing this happening in this world today unfortunately and slowly slowly these cases are increasing day by day we are witnessing it but we do not notice it we witness it we see it but we do not care for it what is that it is happening let's understand from this mantra here almighty god says that listen to the knowledge of acharya rishaya hai rishis are those people who are learned of vedas who have realized vedas in samadhi mantra drishta iti rishihi one who has attained samadhi and because of his samadhi anubhava he realizes the ved mantras so god is telling go to that acharya to listen the vedas and here when some jigyasu comes to an acharya acharya is giving a knowledge through this ved mantra here god is not visible god is silent god is giving the knowledge through the acharya in this mantra here acharya says ततश्चनम अन्न शीर्षण अन्न मीन्स अदर अदर दैन अदर दैन दिस अदर दैन वाट येनम दिस इज वेद मंत्र अथर्वेद मंत्र विच कम्स इन ब्रह्मोदनम चैप्टर ब्रह्मोदनम मीन्स देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ ओदनम ओदनम मीन्स फुड वी कैन से किचड़ी इन हिंदी ब्रह्मोदनम ओदनम देर आर टू ओदनम वन इज ब्रह्मोदनम अदर इज पंचोदनम पंचोदनम मीन्स दट फुड विच इज कंस्यूम्ड बै अवर बॉडी whatever we consume for our body the food what we eat the jewels what we wear the clothes what we use water milk everything what is needed for our body is called as panchodanam and panchodanam is of no use to jivatma jivatma does not need panchodanam but when jivatma resides inside the body the body needs panchodanam but what does jivatma need enam the jivatma needs brahmodanam This is a Brahmodanam chapter in Atharveda, eleventh kanda. Here, the Rishi is giving a knowledge to the disciple. Oh, disciple, you have not consumed the Brahmodanam. You have not worshipped that Almighty God who is worshipped by me. You are not worshipping that Almighty God who is worshipped by Rishi Muni Yogi Tapasvis from time eternity. You are worshipping Anyena Shirchana. You are worshipping somebody else who is not Almighty God. you have to worship that almighty god who is the creator of this universe not only the creator who is also the giver of the knowledge of the vedas one who gives the knowledge of the vedas to the public is the almighty god you are not worshiping that almighty god today what we are worshiping we are worshiping sri rama sri krishna durga ambika allah jesus buddha etc etc which are not almighty god these people do not generate the knowledge of the vedas In fact if you see the life of Sri Ram Sri Krishna they studied Vedas from their rishis from their acharyas but unfortunately we do not know the history so we have started worshiping Ram and Krishna So acharya says to the disciple that if you do not worship that almighty god whom i used to worship whom i am worshiping whom the rishi muni is worships then what will happen to you jeshtatste 
प्रजा मरिष्यति इति दिस इज व्हाट माय आचार्य वाज टेलिंग आई एम अफ्रेड टू टेल दिस मीनिंग ते प्रजा मरिष्यति इति व्हेन यू बिकम अ फैमिली पर्सन इन इन द फ्यूचर व्हाट विल हैपन इज यू आर इन योर हाउस यू माइट सी डेथ ऑफ एंगर पीपल डेथ ऑफ योर संतान death of your kids you might see this you might witness this kind of things happening but please remember these kind of you know mis misfortunes happen only when you do not worship that almighty god see god has told so many types of punishment in the vedas one of the punishment is this stringent punishment where we do not worship almighty god we suddenly find our kids in the house they they die before us and that is giving us so much of pain and misery of course it's a big uh, misery big pain when some when when our uh, you know kid in the house suddenly dies kid means it can be he he or she can be 20 years 30 years 40 years but we are alive when we see our own santan dying then it's it gives so much of pain and misery to us it gives so much of sorrow to us almighty god says this is one of the karma fall that you are not worshiping that almighty god you are worshiping somebody else so i will give you this kind of duk to you we must always understand do not ever doubt the almighty god people think that almighty god is all merciful how can he do that how can he give this kind of knowledge no almighty god is just by by being just he is merciful he will not forgive any of our sins and one of the greatest sin is forgetting this almighty god who creates the universe and who gives the knowledge of the vedas and who is worshiped by rishi munis if we forget this almighty god this kind of problems will happen in our house and we are witnessing it day in and day out if you carefully sit and with a you know with a deep contemplation if you see in your relations or in your house this could have happened and this is slowly slowly happening across the world i have seen so many cases recently even in the covid covid time and it will happen in the future also this is what almighty god says do not leave my worship if you worship me i protect you almighty god says in the vedas and further after listening this warning from acharya immediately the disciple wakes up immediately the disciple says tamva aham narvancham na parancham na pratyancham he acharya i confirm to you acharya i do not worship anybody else other than this almighty god who is narvancham parancham pratyancham who exist in the past who is now present who will be existing in the future and who is giving the knowledge of brahmodanam through the vedas to us i confirm to you acharya i am your disciple aham aham the disciple is telling this to acharya is confirming so please understand this is the gurukul system when we have an acharya we must conform to the acharya we must always be submissive to the acharya to conform our way of worship i have seen many people who comes to my acharya they they take diksha also but they go to other you know temples i know some people who are who were close friends of mine they left my acharya after you know taking diksha this is very very sad part my acharya always says after you come to the vedic path why you are going away away from the vedic path so in that case what almighty god will do this kind of things will happen in our home we should never forget it so here the shishya is confirming aham narvancham na parancham na pratyancham that almighty god who is present everywhere every time past present future future i i am worshiping that almighty god who acharya and further the same odanam the same brahmodanam what you consume what rishi munis have consumed i am also consuming the same brahmodanam means i am also learning vedas i am also doing everyday tapasya you have taught me the brahma vidya i am also following that maine anubhav kiya hai pra ashisham pra ashisham yenam the same almighty gods brahmodanam i am also eating ho oh, acharya i am confirming to you tena yenam ajigamam the same almighty gods kripa the blessings through your through you i have also realized i am also realizing the kripa of that almighty god who acharya i am confirming to you 
I have understood the secrets what you are teaching to me, O Acharya. This is what Shishya is telling to Acharya. This is how we must live our life. This is what God is giving the knowledge in the Vedas. And Yeshah Odanah Sarvangah Sarvaparuhu Sarvatanuhu This this Odanam, this Brahmodanam which is the knowledge of Almighty God, which is the Ved Vidya, which is the spiritual knowledge is Sarvangah Sarvaparuhu Sarvatanuhu This knowledge of the Vedas is Sarvanga means this has all the benefit to the society. This has got a Sarvaparuhu. This has this protects the entire nation. This protects me, protects my family. Sarvatanuhu. This gives me everything. And finally the mantra says Vah Yeva Sarvanga. That person who is consuming Brahmodanam who is consuming the spiritual food of Almighty God through the Vedic path also will become like the Vedvani. That means he will also become Paropakari. He will also start helping others. He will also become Sarvaparu. He will also start protecting others. He will also become Sarvatanuhu. He will also start giving benefit to others. And that person is not a normal person. He will become a Rishi Muni Yogi Tapasvi. This is the secret of this Ved Mantra. So never doubt Almighty God. God's warning in the Vedas is not to, you know, make us or put us in doubt. God's warning in the Vedas is to make us righteous people. Many people will say, you know, out of when this kind of misery, sorrow thing happens, they will say, what, what I did, Almighty God, I did not do any problem to you. Why are you punishing me like this? This kind of words will come out of our mouth. But see, the secret is available in the Vedas already that you have not worshipped me. That means, you know, many people, the atheistic people or anybody who does not understand the secret of Vedas, they will ask me, they will, they will surely ask me. That means everybody's family must have, a, you know, son and daughter dying. No, 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 this is not like that. Please understand. God is giving guideline to you. It can happen to anybody. And God is giving a warning to us. But if something like this, happens in our, house, in our house, we must understand we have not worshipped that Almighty God. We have not even followed the instructions of Acharya. And this kind of thing is happening. You see you see the war where is, which is happening in Ukraine, in Russia, in Israel, in Hamas area, in Gaza area and more war will start. North Korea will start a war. USA, there are so many things will happen. Everywhere, even in India, even in India, this is slowly, slowly happening. And this will surely happen. This is one of the warning for Almighty God. There are many other warnings in Atharvaveda. And everything is slowly, slowly happening. The only way to avoid this is we obey Almighty God and we obey that Almighty God who is giver of the knowledge of the Vedas. And God says, when you obey me, when you consume Brahmodhanam, you will also become like me. That means you will start protecting people. You will start giving knowledge to the people and they will get protected that means not normal you will not become a no be a normal human being you will become an acharya you will become samadhist yogi yourself so please take the positive aspect of this mantra and also please try to understand the warning upadesh given by almighty god and let us try to come back to the vedas do not worry about others world is not following what i should do don't worry about it world will follow when you start following this is my simple principle Thank you so much. Namaste. Om.